When it comes to guitar hardware, there's nothing that spoils you for choice more than bridges. And while they're generally not interchangeable in the same way that pickups are, there are numerous options available, and each of them suits a purpose all its own. I'm Sev, and in this video we're going to look at the different kinds of bridges that guitars can use. I'd love to start this video by saying, there are two flavors of bridges, but the truth is there are more than that. Frankly, I've not planned this out, so I'm a bit scared as to where it's going to go. So a comfortable starting point will be fixed bridge guitars. Let's start with the bridge and tailpiece setup, which has been in use since electric guitars first came about. As we know, the bridge marks the lower limit of the part of the string which vibrates. This kind of bridge has six adjustable saddles, which allow you to set the precise length of the string for correct tuning. The tailpiece is where the strings terminate. Guitars initially used this kind of setup with separate bridges and tailpieces as it allowed for customization of the guitar. You could have a fixed tailpiece or you could have a vibrato tailpiece. A lot of guitars still use a split bridge tailpiece setup, most notably Les Paul and SG style guitars. The next step in this evolution was the development of the combination bridge tailpiece, which was made popular by Fender with the release of the Telecaster. The benefit of this kind of bridge is that it made guitars easier to produce, as you've only got one piece of hardware to screw onto the guitar. And more importantly, you can use a much heavier gauge of string. There are a couple of options available, some string from the front and others string through the body. There are two main flavors of vibrato bridges. Yay, got to say it. These are called dive bomb bridges and floating bridges. Though it's fair to say that they are actually combination bridge tail pieces. The dive bomb style of bridge is commonly found on your Stratocaster style guitars and were made popular by Fender. They're cheap to produce, they're easy to install and they're easy to tune with. They suffer though, in that you can only go flat with them in other words, loosen the strings. They don't offer a lot in the way of subtle dynamics and they tend to go out of tune when you use them excessively. Is it because when you use them, the string loosens all the way to the tuning key, not to the nut? I have two guitars with these kinds of bridges and in all honesty, I just use them like a fixed bridge. In fact, I blocked one of them off so that it won't move because I needed to put batteries in the spring compartment. The floating style of bridge is more commonly found on your super strat style of guitars. They're called a floating bridge because they aren't supported from underneath by the body of the guitar the way a dive bomb bridge is. Instead, they're held in place by the tension on the springs in the back of the guitar, offsetting the tension of the strings. They differ from the dive bomb style in that they're more expensive produce, they're a headache to install, and they're an absolute pain in the d to get into tune. Tightening one string will loosen the rest off. The worst part is you have to set them up for a specific gauge of string in a specific tuning. You can't detune, you can't go to thicker or thinner strings without the whole thing going to pot. On the plus side, because there's nothing behind the bridge, it will allow you to go sharp as well as flat, and they offer a lot more to the player in the way of dynamics and subtlety. That weird horror music sound at the start of corns falling away from me, that's done with a floating bridge. And so is this. And because they're almost always paired with a locking nut, assuming you can get the damn thing in tune to begin with, they stay in tune perfectly. Personally, I find them more of a blessing than a curse. I'd have to, I was stupid enough to buy three of them. Also the open is system, which is well listened for. Anywho, I've been Sev saying ciao for now. <laughs>